Hi friends, it's me Nikki here. I hope you all are doing great. I had the wonderful, wonderful opportunity to plan my little niece Savannah's very first birthday party. So I wanted to share my tips on planning a party and some ideas whether you're one or 30. So let's jump right in. So the theme for Savannah's birthday party was Pink Pumpkin because she's born in October. We thought this would be a fun theme and with a vintage twist because her mom likes a lot of vintage things and we thought that this would be a great theme and I thought it would look great in their space, you know, and bring a nice little vibe to the party. So it was a lot of fun. Great theme for anyone who's born in October. Again, whether you're one or whether you're 30, great for that young lady, for that little girl, for that older lady. It's just a fun theme theme. Now one thing that my sister-in-law said is that she really did not want people to you know kind of invest in buying cards and things like that. She would rather they go to the dollar store or go thrifting or you know bookstore or wherever and buy Savannah a book and then write something special on the inside. This would be so sentimental so special and take her a long way. Another sentimental aspect that we did and because Savannah's parents had her kind of later in life a lot of their friends kids are grown so this was a lot of adults at the party more so than kids and so we, we thought it would be great to fill the mantle with all of Savannah pictures from her first year because her mom took pictures every month of her um, life for this year so we displayed every one of those pictures there and then we put her one year old picture in a 8 by 10 frame these are all dollar store paint frames that were painted ivory to fit in with the theme and it really was a great way to add something that the guests could enjoy during the party So like I said, this party was more adults than children, so I wanted this to be very interactive. I wanted the guests to be very involved when it came to the eats portion of the party. And so I went with a grilled cheese bar and a soup bar. And I thought that this was a fun way to get everyone up and around and kind of mingling and talking and just really uh, having a good time. And so as you can see, the space is very open, so it allowed for guests to flow well. Um, one counter here, I set up the soup bar and Savannah's mom made some chili, some creamy butternut squash and also a potato soup and with it being fall this was really a great great thing to have for the party and so I have everything set up here and then on the second bar is where I set up the grilled cheese bar where the guests could come and make their own grilled cheese sandwiches and I made kind of a different variety of condiments and things so that they could really get creative with it and I love the part where the bars are in separate areas because it helped with the party flow flow because some people could be fixing their sandwiches while some fixing soup while while some cooking their sandwiches. So even if you're doing this for a child, you can make it very child friendly because kids love grilled cheese. So you can make it very more simplistic. You can have, um, you know, kind of more just kid friendly condiments and things like that so that's what I love about the grilled cheese bar because it's very fun now if you're doing it with kids don't have them work the griddle in that portion have an adult supervising that part but let the kids have fun in creating their sandwiches then pass it along to the adult to actually cook and it still could be a fun activity for the kids and so we had the grill the griddle set up there on the coffee table we had some light eats so that when guests were sitting around they had some kind of light eats there we had two drink stations one with hot, hot apple cider and and one with pink lemonade and bottled water and I had these water bottle covers that I got from Michaels and I'll put links to everything I can find that I'm sharing today in the description box below so definitely check that out we also had a little coffee station with the Keurig machine set up and then we had a little dessert table in the dining room where I hadn't put them out yet but there were cakes and pies and cookies and that was just kind of a little additional little dessert area there which was very fun now for the place settings, I wanted it to be fun and I put the menu cards here and I put the little soup sampler bowls so that the guests could sample each one of the soups and then larger bowls were actually on the bar so that they once they sampled, if they saw a soup or you know had a soup that they really loved, they could get a full bowl of that. But I thought it was fun to have the sampler aspect of that. Along with we had a little fruit salad to the side for the guests, so it just made things fun. And actually, this is disposable ware. I got this ivory color plates and bowls from Tuesday morning, and it makes it beautiful. But it's disposable, and the the place settings here, I use paper to put the plates under, and very affordable. So when you're doing parties, you can kind of be creative by using a lot of papers because 
because it's very inexpensive but it can bring a pop of color to your tablescape and so it worked out perfectly and I just got 12 by 12 pink and white striped paper I thought it was fun and would add a lot to the tablescape there and so the spoons are actually from the Dollar Tree the little silver plastic disposable spoons and so again I'll link everything below that I can possibly find but very simple very easy to do and just a fun little twist uh, to add to the party So I got these glass pink mason jars from Michael's 10 for a dollar. They had all kinds of colors and this was great because we let the guests take them home but then this served as their cup also. Okay, for birthday cake, we went cupcake route. This is such an easy way, easy to serve. You don't have to cut the cake and things like that. Guests can easily grab it. It makes for a cleaner kind of, uh, you know, part of the party and so the thing about it was we got simple Walmart cupcakes and we got pink and ivory frosting and both chocolate and vanilla so that it could accommodate everybody and then we got a jumbo cupcake for her to have as her kind of crush cake and then on Etsy I ordered these little pumpkin kind of um, embellishments here they're so cute and it was from a great company and I'll link that below so you definitely want to check that out very affordable very nice and it adds a lot to the cupcake the stand I had um, got in England but I'll try to find a resource and link it below for you and so it really made for a dramatic uh, you know effect and was the centerpiece of the main table and then we also put some on the other table um, in the other room so that guests there could have some also like I said I went with the pink pumpkin theme because she's an October baby and so got dollar store pumpkins and painted them ivory and pink and just very simple to do but it gave a great look to the party the banner I got from Michaels and I got some wood letters and just put that on there the kind of uh, decorations we got from you know Michaels just very inexpensive I kept it between three to five dollars and you know just kind of by putting a little uh, you know touches here and there of the pink pumpkin it kept with the theme simple balloons not anything fancy just kind of in the corner of the rooms of each room we put kind of three to four balloons uh, use kind of chalkboard labels when labeling the food when making little signs very affordable you can get them at Michaels along with little dollar store accessories because there weren't a lot of kids but they were some kids I got these little dollar denim bags from Michaels they were on clearance I thought they were just the cutest great for a fall party they had kind of girly themes and themes that would be appropriate for a boy and so I thought it was really neat and I picked up those and just some 50 cents to a dollar kind of um, little gifts for the kids to take with them and here's little Savannah uh, helping me put her little gift bags together for her little guest and so I think she was uh, playing with them more than helping but she had a good time so I love Loved it and so I just got little things like chalk little chalk and kind of play-doh and coloring books very little candy I didn't want to put too much candy in there but I want to put things like fall stickers and just things that when they go home they could enjoy and you know just kind of have a little memory from the party so it was really inexpensive to do and I didn't have to do any mini bags because there weren't uh, that many children so it worked out great but I love the denim bags it really was a great find and so I don't know if you can still find them now but you can check it it was recently at Michael's that I did find them so your Michael's may still have some and then I just tied some pink um pink some orange and burlap ribbon to kind of come into with the theme and put some tissue paper and that was all well and again the adults got to take the pink kind of mason jars as their kind of favor so I hope you've enjoyed my sharing my ideas and tips and what I did for my little niece's party. Again, this is something that can be incorporated into a variety of ages, whether child or adult. Now this week I do have another video coming out where it's more of a vlog style video where I share with you kind of my planning prep along with some footage from the party and it just really was a great party. We had a great time with our family and friends. It just really was a kind of laid back, it just a you know, just a good time. Had some just beautiful special guests and got to spend time with someone you all know the beautiful Catherine from do it on a dime she was there and so definitely check out my other video with the vlog so you'll see her in some of the footage and so we really had a great time so I hope you all are doing great I'll see you at the next video and this is Nikki saying goodbye <laughs>